In 2011, as silver reached its all-time high, it moved this fast. Stick around. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We're a channel that likes to buy physical gold and silver, and we like a coin with a good story. If you like those things, please subscribe. Well, in 2020, both gold and silver are in a bull market. They're both moving pretty fast, reaching recent highs or all-time highs. So what I want to share with you is looking back at 2011, when, it, when silver reached its all-time high, how fast did it go? Now, I understand 2020 is not 2011. Things are different, but there are similarities. And one of the biggest similarities between 2011 and 2020 is human nature. So human nature is a constant. People's responses to financial crises, people's responses to rising prices are going to be more similar than not, in my opinion. So in 2011, I want to show you how fast did it go once it crossed $20? How long did it take to go from $20 to its all-time high? How many pullbacks and what size were those pullbacks once it really started to go up? Meaning, were there pullback buying opportunities along the way? And then what happened at the peak? So I'm not a financial advisor, but I do like charts. Not my eyes glaze over type charts, but just simple charts that I can look at and see patterns myself. So this is the gold price. This is at Atmex. So if you want to check out the gold price, and not just the gold price, but also the silver price, but also you can look at it for six months, a year, 10 years. And so as you can see here, gold is at its all-time high above 2000 where in the past it reached about 1800 But silver is on a tear right now. So silver has gone up into the high 20s and the year to date. So we had the initial stock market plunge of 30%, which included silver, but it's worked its way up and now it is rising very fast. And so if we go back 10 years, we can see that the all-time high was above 40 and here we are in the high 20s. But if we zoom in, so if we zoom in, we can see what happened in 2008's financial crisis and then how silver responded and then how silver reached its all-time high, and then what happened after it reached its all-time high. So I'm gonna copy this on the chalkboard so that we can pick out a few data points. So we're gonna look at how fast silver goes up once it is moving up. All right, so here's our chart. These are the years from 2008 through 2011. And here's the dollars from 10, all the way up to 50. And so what we'll do is we're gonna track how fast did it go up. So I'm gonna track some milestones. 2011 is not the same as 2020, but human nature is the same. So what is similar between 2008 and 2020 is that a precious metals market responds to a crisis and then it responds to the solution to the crisis. And so the crisis here was the 2008 big short, the 2008 housing crisis. So this is about March 2008, and this is election 2008. And so right about a month before the election in November, was the solution, which was massive Wall Street bailouts, and then all kinds of Federal Reserve action. So the, there's a crisis and there's a response to the crisis. And the response to the crisis, people decide they don't like, 
and they drive up the cost of metals. This was over 20 and this is actually under 10. So this was a 50% drop. So in 2020, we had about a 30% drop to the initial crisis. So some of the milestones along the way is that when did silver get back to 20, which is right here. It hit 20, September 13th, 2010. So that's our starting line. And then when did it hit 30? Which would be right here. So that was actually December 31st, 2010, which is three and a half months. But then what kind of pullback occurred? So the pullback was 26, 87. So once we started going up, once we cracked 20 and started going up, the biggest dip was to $26. And that happened within a month of of crossing 30, 13%. And then the all time high, $48.64. All time high. And that was April 29th. And that was another three months. So in total, we covered all that ground from 20 to 48 in seven and a half months. So from 20 to all time high in seven and a half months. And just to be fair, and then this happened. It dropped. It dropped to $35 and 50 cents by May which was seven days. And then it kind of languished for a couple of few years and then it dropped down into the 15 to 20 for the next six, seven years. So I can't say enough that 2020 is not 2011, but with hindsight being 2020, <laughs> If you're standing in 2010 or 2011 and your conversation in your head is, I don't like $20 an ounce silver. I'm used to spending a lot less than that. I'm going to wait for a dip. And within three and a half months, it's at 30. And then a slight dip occurs of 13%. And it never went below 26.87. So it went from 20 to 30 without going below 20. It went down to 26 for a month. And then in the next three months, it went from 26 to 48. And then within a week, it had lost 27%. So in 2020, things are moving pretty fast. Last Monday, I bought silver and gold, and then this happened. To hear that story and more, please watch one of our featured videos.